Hello gamers, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the Game Dimensions Tekken Heihachi Mishima made by Bandai. Take a look at the packaging. You can see there's the window exposing the figure, well, some of the accessories. And you get the Tekken logo right there. And you get the image of Heihachi Mishima over here looking threatening. And he is part of the game dimensions, meaning I'm um, hopefully besides Tekken franchise, I hope there's going to be like other game franchise that Bandai is going to make on the top. Same thing on the top. On the, all the way to the top is you get the Bandai logo, warning, um, get the recommend for HS4 Plus and warning chucking hazard and everything in different languages. On the side, you get the image of Heihachi over here. On the side, just the Tekken logo on the back. Here's like some sort of a screenshot image from Tekken 7 and other image from Tekken 7, of course. And there's Kasuma, Kasuya, I forgot how he pronounced his name, to be honest. Yeah, I only play Tekken 6 and 7. That's it. So, yeah. And other mystery figures that are going to come out later on. So, that's about it for the packaging. Let's take out Heihachi Mishima out of the package. Here is Heihachi Mashima out of the package. Let's take a closer look at the figure. The head sculpt it has a not too bad likeness to the character from the video game. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Yeah, you get the little mustache and the eyebrows and everything. The hair sculpt on him looks pretty good. Yeah, you get the sinister looking face on him. Yeah, because obviously, if you play, well, for me, I only play Tekken 6 and 7, like I said. But some of you viewers are already play, like, the old Tekken games, well, from 1 through 7, yeah. But this figure still looks not too bad at all. Not too bad. Uh, take a look at the back here. You can see there's, like, a little tiger right there printed on. And you get the, uh, the little punch hole thing on his chest area there uh take a look at the arms you can see some sculpted muscles there and there's some pins right there on each side of the arm you get the bandages here and take a look at the hands you can see one hand's the fisted hand the other hand's like i don't know maybe like grabbing hand or something you get the belt right there yeah you can see some texturings, everything. Same thing with his outfit here, which is made of flexible rubber. Meaning you might like, like, well, I'm not sure you can take his arms off. Oh, yeah, you can. To take off his, take off the, the thing here to make him have a shirtless version of Hihachi. Like so. So let's put back the arms here. Take a look at the the pants here. You can see there's some more texturing on the pants. And look at that feet. Man, those feet are huge. And on the bottom, there's no peckles in the bottom of his feet. And no legalese. Thank goodness. There's no one on his back. Hey, at least Bandai did something. Like on unlike other toy companies. But anyway, take a, the figure itself looks really good. I, I will admit, Bandai did really a not too bad of a job with this figure. Not too bad at all. Now, moving on to articulation. There's, like, the ball joint at... There's, like, a head rotation there as well, side to side. There's, like, a move... There's, like, a neck movement there as well. The arms that go fully rotate does go in and out. There's a little bit of but butterfly joint there. Upper arm rotation. Double-jointed elbows. The... Let's take off his hand. The lower hand does rotate and does side to side. And there's the upper hand as well. Chest rotate. Well, sort of. Well, chest kick pit forward back. And there's the rotation there as well. Legs kick forward and back in and out. Upper leg rotation. Double jointed knees. And 
and the rotation at the ankles. And ankles do pivot forward back and ankle pivot side to side. So yeah, this guy is very posable for very posable. Yeah. He is very posable and you can make some crazy amount of posabilities. Now for accessories, he does come with a few interchangeable hands. He came with like the left fisted hand and the right grabbing hand. And he does come with this lightning effect thing here that could wrap around his hands just like so. You pop the hand off here. Let's uh, hold this piece here in. Uh-huh. And boom. And there you go. Now it's turning to Street Fighter. No, I'm kidding. Well, there is a game called Tekken X Street or Street Fighter X Tekken. However you say it. Just like that. Look at that. Looks pretty cool. And finally, whoops. He does come with this effect where the sign says, ready to fight. Ready? Round one. Fight. Well, I'm pretty sure the other character, I forgot his name. Well, I forgot. Well, I know his name, but I cannot pronounce it right. Does came with like the, the round one thing. While for Heihachi came with the ready. And also the displays in there as well. So you can have like display your characters as one of ready to fight or something like that. But overall for the figure itself, I really do really do like this figure. I'd say Ben I did a really a not too bad of a job with this figure. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this line come like this whole line thing going on. Hopefully we're getting characters from the Tekken games. And maybe not just like the Tekken games. Well the the box says game dimensions, meaning there's gonna be this other game licensee from Bandai besides Tekken. Maybe I would like to see a Metal Gear solid figures. I I I'm I became like a big fan of Metal Gear, like for the fan for the um the uh, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns for Liberty. That's a cool game. I hopefully we get characters from that game. Maybe from the Phantom Pain. But take a look at the the figure itself of Heihachi. I really do like it. And I think for 27 bucks, it's really not too bad. I mean, it has like less accessories. The sculpting on the figure looks really good. Articulation is very posable. Maybe, yeah, it, it, it could be either way. It could be either you want to get this figure for the retail of 27 bucks, or you just want to wait till, till when it's on sale. Eh, it's up to you. But the figure itself is really good. It's not too bad at all. Not too bad. Very posability. The sculpting looks really good. The paint apps looks perfect. Clean. Yeah. Like, if you cannot afford the uh, Storm Collectibles version of Heihachi, then this, the Bandai version might got you covered. For my rate, I'm going to give the Heihachi Mishima figure a, a 9 out of 10 for me. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please consider like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And follow me on Instagram. The links, oh, and Instagram and threads. The links will be in the description down below. That's all I have to say. This is the Game Dimensions Tekken Heihachi Mishima figure made by Bandai. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you on my next review. And remember, keep on collecting.